This is the first demonstration that time really can slow down. But how? Back at Duke University, Warren Mech is exploring this remarkable phenomenon by giving mind-altering drugs to rats. We're particularly interested in drugs like cocaine and marijuana because we believe they can distort time perception by compressing time or lengthening time. Hi, Ray. Is everything ready? Hi, Warren. Yes, everything's ready. Good, let's go. He's going to test whether these chemicals change the stopwatch mechanism that allows the rats to measure time. So the rats have had their drugs for about 20 minutes now. As you can see, the marijuana rat is mellowed out. The cocaine rat's gotten quite mad and is trying to escape out of this cage here. And the saline rat is just acting normally. The plan is to give the animals a timing task. The rats have previously been trained to measure time precisely. If the rat presses a lever after 12 seconds, he gets the reward of a food pellet. But if he's too early or too late, he gets nothing. The rat, given saline only, does this task perfectly and presses the lever after 12 seconds, the correct time. Next, the rat on cocaine. For this rat, time seems to zip by. It presses the lever after only eight seconds. And lastly, the rat on marijuana. Here, time seems to have ground to a halt. This rat doesn't press until 16 seconds have passed. So overall, we're seeing a modulation of the stopwatch, where we can speed up the stopwatch and slow down the stopwatch, or we can maintain normal speed under control conditions. So it seems that our very real experience of time speeding up or slowing down can be directly influenced by chemicals. And this could account for what's happening in the free fall. Under high stress, we release adrenaline, and this, just like a drug, affects the chemical pathway of our stopwatch, slowing down time.